as long as the church has been speaking about gender ideology, it has spoken about it negatively. The Catholic Church's teaching on gender is grounded in scripture. The first chapter of Genesis says God created men and women in his likeness. Male and female, he created them. Dr. Teresa Farnan with the Ethics and Public Policy Center's Person and Identity Project says that the church has always emphasized the complementary nature of the sexes. Sexual difference and complementarity illustrate this understanding that um, men and women together come together bringing their gifts for the sake of the family. But as gender discordance and gender transition procedures have become more and more common in the 21st century, the church has felt called to speak to the God-given dignity of the body. The Pontifical Council for the Family issued a document, Family Marriage and De Facto Unions, in the year 2000. Um, which uh, connected gender ideology to uh, a kind of a rejection of the family. During their pontificates, both Pope Benedict XVI and Pope Francis have repeatedly sounded the alarm on the dangers of gender identity, something Pope Francis has repeatedly called gender ideology. And the church continues to speak out against the trends in culture. In April of this year, the Vatican's top doctrinal office issued a document that once again reiterates church teaching on gender. Dignitas Infinita, infinite dignity in English, says that the dignity of the body cannot be considered inferior to that of the person as such. Any sex change intervention, as a rule, risks threatening the unique dignity the person has received from the moment of conception. Dr. Grabowski, a professor of theology at the Catholic University of America, emphasizes that the church calls Catholics to accompany those who struggle with gender discordance. It's really important to say what the church calls us to is to oppose gender ideology because it's based on a false view of the human person and it's an obstacle to human flourishing and happiness, but to love people who are wrestling with their gender identity and do our best to um, walk toward Christ with them.